Well, hello, boys and girls. It's really great to be back in your classrooms this week. Before I get started on our lesson, I wanted to take a little bit of time out to thank you so much for all of the beautiful cards that you made for me and pictures that you colored for me. Boys and girls, you did such a beautiful job. Thank you so much. It really meant a lot to me for you to make these cards and pictures for me for Counselor's Week. That was so nice of you, and it really, really warmed my heart. So thank you, boys and girls, and thank your teachers, too. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what it is to keep your friends. I know at the beginning of the year, we talked about how important it is to make friends, and we talked about ways and things that you can do to make friends. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how do we keep friends? How do we keep on being friends? And how do we keep our friendships? This book that I found is called My Space and Your Space. And it's about respecting each other's spaces. So what that means, boys and girls, is when you are sitting on the carpet, you certainly don't want somebody coming and sitting in your square and crowding you and making you feel uncomfortable. And the same thing when you're sitting at the table. If you're sitting at your table in the classroom, you don't want somebody to get super duper close to you to where you feel like you can't even breathe. The same goes for the cafeteria. When you're eating your breakfast or your lunch, you don't want somebody crowding you. So you need to make sure that you are all being respectful of each other's spaces and make sure that you give enough space in between you and the person next to you. Let's see what this story is all about. My Space and Your Space a story about personal boundaries by Sandra Athens, illustrated by Janissa Bianda. Words to know before you read. Friend, grabs, happy, hug, loud, sad, Sorry. Space. Aaron is my friend. We color together on the rug. Aaron colors in the lines. He is an artist. Sometimes Aaron gets too close. He spills into my space and makes me sad. Stay in your lines, I tell Aaron. Sorry, he says. Then we are happy again. Aaron is my friend. Sometimes he gets too loud. His words spill into my space and make me sad. Stay in your lines, I tell Aaron. Sorry, he says. Then we are happy again. Aaron is my friend. Sometimes he grabs my crayons. His hands spill into my space and make me sad. Stay in your lines, I tell Aaron. Sorry, he says. Then we are happy again. We hug and our lines spill together. Our space. I tell Aaron. Okay, boys and girls. So, Aaron was her friend, right? Was the girl's friend. 
and sometimes Erin would kind of spill over into her space and that made her sad. So she asked Aaron if he could stay in the lines, stay in his own lines. Just like on the carpet, boys and girls, you have lines that you have to stay in. Always make sure to try to stay in the lines. And it's the same thing in the cafeteria and in the classroom at your desks. You may not have actual lines that you can see, but you can imagine that there is a line there in between you and the person next to you. If you can do that, boys and girls, then you can definitely keep your friends happy and keep your friendships. So I hope this book made a lot of sense to you. And I hope that you try your very best to stay in your lines. That about wraps up my time for today, boys and girls. So I will see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.